<clears throat> okay. Hi guys, Akomaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Before we start, I would like to comment about Tron. Um, this is so nice. Uh, I uh, This Ghost Edit, this uh, easy to use payment systems on the Tron network. I got to know this, uh, this idea yesterday only. <laughs> And I am so thrilled with this idea because it's so, it's so easy to use. Um, you just, I'm gonna show you guys because this is so, I, I am a, uh, doesn't matter whether you like the throne idea or not, okay? This, this thing here is fun, okay? And how do, how, how do you use it? You just go to ghostedit.io you log in with your Twitter and then you follow those steps here that I would love if like here okay it's just easy to send uh, tronics and tokens you just use the Twitter as a as a as a way of paying people and giving tips it's so fun I, I was really like oh my goodness this is a really good idea and uh, I, I like to support good ideas. I like. I, I think that ideas is what brings. Uh, it, it's what brings us brings us together, right? We are here together because of the block blockchain idea, and Tron is like proving itself, right? I like it. I am supporting this idea. This is a nice idea, okay? Um, and don't forget Tronics hasn't had a, a, bull, a bullish market yet it's going down everything is going down i i post this uh this chart on my twitter if you haven't followed me yet uh, please consider doing so there you have this chart here that i present you guys okay the 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 chart is not really optimistic in a way that i don't think we have finished this whole structure here we are in a bear market okay but nevertheless it's a amazing opportunity if you if you are an investor and you buy here you won't regret it okay tronics is a re, it's a, tronics is indeed a great investment that's what i can tell you guys <clears throat> okay enough uh, if you haven't followed them go see it okay really fun really nice idea Okay, so let's see Bitcoin here. <clears throat> um, I would like to, to present you guys a, uh, one, one, one thing that I was looking at. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing significantly has changed. We are in this B here, as I have been t telling you guys. <clears throat> but when we... Well, let, let's take a look, compare those two, the, uh, I'm gonna, let me, drawing tools, let me hide all drawing tools, okay, let us compare this structure here, this fractal here, with this 2015, 2015 fractal here, okay, this structure here and this structure here, this is, this remember, this was on a wave two, this is a one, two, then we have a three, four, five. This is again a wave two. So what I'm saying is that we might see something like this. We might see a if you use trend factor, if you use TD sequential, you, you and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The nine would be like here. I I, I don't know if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, let me put the drawing back. Uh, we have some piece of information here that we can uh, that we can start to think about, right? Because this was a what? Uh, let Let's see how much it lasts and how much how much it, how much it has it had dropped, right? When it, when it dropped, it, it was 
from what from 2000 uh, November 2013 okay the last 409 days okay and it dropped 86 percent 86 percent of the value okay in 405 days what I'm proposing is that we might see something like this okay Again, we would have the same fractal happening here. And remember, we are 251 days only. But this time we had like 406 days, eight minus 86%, 162 days of an uptrend, and then, oh my goodness, right? How much did it uh, increase in value? Let's see right it was like oh if you look at this it's insane insane 163 two bars um i'm sorry guys this is a bit yeah yes uh just just like to change the color so this is what happened right it increased 23 this is actually from this bottom here was it increased 23k oh my goodness this is a lot isn't it 50,000 <laughs> percent of increase it's uh, insane it's this was a huge bull market oh my goodness and then we are now going down this was oh um, uh, pardon me guys this is not the the top of the week this is the top of the week sorry oh no yes now it makes sense 19 1900 increase <laughs> oh my goodness what a profit huh this is a unbelievable profit right and and what I'm comparing is this fractal here this is what my wave one let me see if I have a chart here with this explain it um, yes this is my chart okay guys a uh, bit Phoenix one two three four five then we have a, a wave of a one degree here we have a lot of different targets okay a lot of different targets so this is the, the amount of time that we spent in bitphoenix is a bit different that's why i'm using bitstamp here okay and don't forget guys logarithmic okay this was a rather complex correction as well so this is what we have now oh it's a lot of information um I would like to show you guys something let me zoom this thing yes let's see if I can if I can do bear with me guys bear with me from this top here to this bottom here we have um, we have we traced okay from the bottom I'm sorry for that from the top to this bottom here Okay, disregard the, the other, I have a, a separate analysis from each of the drops and uh, in retracements, but now I am taking the whole correction, okay? This is, let me, I need, we need to be really, really precise here, really precise. We are taking time into consideration, isn't it? Let me, uh, 200 and uh, this is my c this is this must be red oh sorry guys okay red just because it's, <laughs> it's okay minus 70 percent and 195 bars but no but no, 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 no. exactly here Okay, 193 days. Okay, 
until we and to get to this bottom of the year okay to get to this point here that it was 5781 right this was the bottom of the year remember by a little bit we we establish a new bottom and uh, this was not the bottom right what a lot of information here this was not the bottom okay pardon me guys this is uh, annoying I know okay here's the week I need to keep my chart this is the analysis in time guys really important really important to find confluences uh, so uh, here we have this huge correction here from this top here now let me let me go yes here beautiful from this bottom here and it took 194 days minus 70 percent okay now if we consider okay this is what i want to say to to tell you guys if we consider that we go to one of those targets here that i have been presenting minus uh minus 33 60 percent i don't have <laughs> the the chart here i don't have the the algo targets here i i won't draw it again if you want to know the algo targets i have another video to show you guys but let's take this 100 extension here and the 127 20 fib extension here as a target okay then if we draw if we oopsie let's see if we, we expand it to this Imagine that it takes 100%. It's going to be minus 70, 80, 20%. Okay. Of course, it's going to be the target here. 786. Okay. This would be the whole retracement. And would like uh, take the whole year. Or perhaps even lower. Minus 81%. You see, I am kind of... Uh, believing i'm kind of uh putting my money on this target here 3600 why because it's close to the percentage of it's close no it's actually almost the same percentage that we had in this one here okay really close 80 percent okay and we have the confluence of 127 20 percent together so what is exciting is that we have uh, see, both time analysis and fib analysis together talking uh, to uh, predicting something giving us an idea yes and this fractal here would finish like here at what uh, at 100 percent here or 127 20 here going those are the two targets and of course i would expect at least 300 300 300 days okay this would be 300 days okay at least he has to finish this wave c i i see a wave c that's longer you, you if you compare 2015 here like okay a b and this was a huge c that was uh, that was rather short compared to to the a b yeah we might not see a really huge wave c okay uh, i'm sorry if it's confusing a bit but yes it's uh, time analysis is not an easy thing especially when we need to consider what's going on every day and uh, and if you want to trade and if you want to understand what's going on you need to understand that time is an important a part of trading okay you have time relationships okay between the the impulse and the correction okay and this is i have been saying this Okay, we we need to take time into consideration always. Okay, so this is what I expect comparing to what? Okay, the the 
you might you might one might argue that uh, previous previous performance does not uh, does not me does not uh, lead to future future performance okay this is uh, a really common saying in uh, in in markets in trading but nevertheless we are trying to make sense of this and we are trying to bring together what we have the the amount of information that we have in order to try to have a to, to have polite guesses okay and help us to achieve a good uh to be successful in our trades okay so uh but the bottom line here is i'm comparing this this retracement here with this one i mean i am stating that this is the same fractal that we have here okay the same kind of fractal but of course in a different proportion because we had a way different moment for Bitcoin back there here, okay? A way different movement. It was not such a, a, a poignant parabolic movement that we had here, okay? What happened here was, an, was a, a, a rare event, okay? Um, but not at all uh, uh, weird or odd, okay? <laughs> it was this was part of the, the of uh, of the the nature the nature of the coin okay it was expected to happen okay so this is what i'm oopsie this is what i'm saying we might go to this region of 100 127 20 percent okay and we have the time analysis together with all of this to help us understand and uh this is my daily chart, okay? Let's see my weekly chart. We are in the same page, okay? I have been talking about it. I won't, I won't, uh, I won't stay here for a lot longer. Uh, so this is my hourly chart. It hasn't changed a lot. So here we have this wave A, this wave B. And then we are now forming this structure. This is a kind of a bear flag, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, it's a tra it's a, a traditional it's a traditional pattern. Okay, we have this throw off here, but I don't think it's significant. So I marked it. But then we have this bear flag, and this is this would be a wave two. I was counting it as a wave three, but this price action here shows us that if we have a wave one here, this would be a wave two forming a sideways correction, and then we would have a drop. We would have to break this channel here, okay? Because so far we have been uh, since what August, since uh, what is it? August 18th yes we have been in this channel right since August 18th so we are in this channel and we are about to break it in my opinion and break down okay here we have the algo targets as well right we have some algo targets here minus 3360 minus 38 but those targets are for other movements okay here we have the fourth and then we have the fifth which will really difficult to tell whether or not we are gonna go lower we had in the daily chart lower targets but I am marking here uh, targets that might be for the for the wave one of the of this three so we have a lot of things that we a lot we need a lot of a lot more data in order to understand exactly what is happening guys okay we need more data we don't have data enough and uh, uh you can see you, you, i don't know you can say that you have a triangle forming here as well right instead of this channel yes if you want i think we have a triangle here right 
no no guys i am uh exper i am experiment i am exper oh exper i am trying <laughs> sorry we have this kind of triangle here don't we oh no but we have this if we ignore this this price action here we have a Hmm, this is, this is new, right? But we have this weird price action here. I don't know if we need to, if we would disregard it. I don't know. I would consider this thing. Then we have three points here, four. Yes. Yeah, the picture is the same, guys. Okay, if you if you understand this whole structure here as a bear flag, hmm, then we are going down the same way. I, I don't. If you look at the daily chart, you see this is kind of the price. You see here, this is what hap This is what's happening now. It's the same kind of structure that is gonna. This was an A, B, C, this was this was one what actually was a one, two, three, four, five, but here you have the the same kind of formation that's happening here. You see? It's difficult to see this thing going up now. Of course, we might have some news that influence the market and then we would have a a surging price, but at least this is this is the picture that I have in mind for Bitcoin of course I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna present you guys a setup I think it's a no trade zone for the moment I would like to see actually it's, it is a trade zone I would start shorting here okay I would short here and I would put my stop-loss up here of the at the top of this wave B, if we break it, of course, it's uh, it's it it invalidates my count, and I would put my my shorts at the six one eight six five. So if we get to six thousand, and then I would target the six one eight here. No, this is a really this is a risky setup, guys. I I don't know. Um, if we see this price going to the po golden pocket, here's the golden pocket, okay? 618, 65. We might see 786 as well. Some people are saying that we are going to get to 6700, okay? Before we, f we, we crash, before we have another dump. So, if you want to start shorting and start leathering your buys, leathering your shorts, pardon me. Uh, this would be somehow uh, yeah as if you see it, it's going up okay how, how we would do that uh, if you see this going up I, I don't want it I don't think it's gonna break this pattern here okay this pattern of this kind of a bearish flag here okay I don't think we're gonna break it if it continues going up like this and then we reach this target here uh, six, six, six to seven hundred, or perhaps a bit higher, six eight hundred. I would start shorting. Okay, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I would short definitely, and then this is my short. Okay, starting at the seven eight six, but I would ladder. Okay, I I and I would put it like higher, like this, higher than this, higher than this point here, guys. Okay then it would invalidate my whole count okay and i it is, is a uh, rather rather uh large stop loss but i am planning to to cost average my short okay i won't enter at once i will like start with a little bit here of course i am actually i have a position now i am shorting right now so then I'm on. I'm, if this this thing goes up, I'm gonna start laddering. Oopsie! 
a little bit here, a little bit, oops, sorry, pardon me, uh, oh, come on, one here, one here, one here, then uh, a huger size here, and then most of my position here, if it goes there, and then when it breaks down, I would add, I would add more to my position as it goes down. You see, I would add more with strength, okay? When it breaks, for instance, when it breaks like here and it starts going down, when it breaks, for it, it touches the 50% here, for instance, and it starts going down, I add more to my position as it goes down, okay? This is what I do. And then I close my position as soon as I think the profit's enough. I don't wait sometimes for this whole structure for to complete my target guys because if it bounces i don't want to be left with money right without profit we need to be really conservative with our money that's the first rule of trading okay so this is my this is my strategy for bitcoin now i i really think that we are going down but we might see a uh, new local high, a new local high for this structure here, okay? We, if we follow this bear flag here, okay? Some targets here for you guys, okay? So far, we almost touched the 50%. We haven't yet touched the 50%, okay? From this whole retracement here, from this top of this B wave here to this one wave here, okay? We are now in this C wave. So, uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, sorry for the rather long video. I was trying to present you guys on a different idea about Bitcoin, actually presenting more data about Bitcoin, which I think is really important when we are dealing with markets to amass the, the maximum amount of information. Okay, and to be prepared to be wrong. Okay, this is my my piece of device, my piece of device for you guys. Be prepared to be wrong because you are gonna be you are often you are often gonna be wrong. Okay, I am most of the time, and I need to react to the market and trade. So if you like my content, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and. Follow me on social media and join my Discord group as well. You have the link in the description. Okay. Thank you very much. And we see each other later. Bye bye. Have a wonderful weekend. Cheers.